by its very nature, peace is fragile and needs unceasing nurturing. Contrary to prevalent assumption, the state of peace in my own country, Kenya, and the rest of the East African community does not come without nurturing. It has been nurtured by peaceful, robust, collaborative efforts. At every stage of building our nation state, Kenya, the people of Kenya, in all their broad diversity, have made considerable personal as well as communal sacrifice to keep the flame of peace burning in our country. And just to give two examples, our prom promulgation of the 2010 new constitution, as well as my 2018 handshake with my rival in the last election, all called for steep sacrifice from our leaders, but also from our people. Your Excellency, my dear brother, ladies and gentlemen, it is against this grueling background that Kenya has built a steadfast commitment to invest in peace and security initiatives in our entire sub-region. Given the fluid dynamics of global geopolitics, it is res resilience on our innate indigenous approaches and the consolidation of Afrocentrism that provides the most well-suited platform for crafting durable solutions. The challenge that you face, the challenge that the DRC faces, and by extension our entire region, must never be allowed to subdue us. For us as a people, and indeed the entire African people, we must together beat all odds in order to prosper and live in peace. <laughs>